Shalom family, this is Grammy, y'all. I just wanted to come out here and just tell you how wonderful, how wonderful my husband is. I went to Ross and I bought this floodlight, right? And um, I just put it on the table and I said, I sure would like to have this over my she shed because um, at nighttime over that she shed, it's so dark over there. I ain't going over there. <laughs> so I didn't even really have to say anything. I didn't have to say, are oh, you going to do it? Are you going to put it up? So let's get on over here and see what he is doing. What you doing over there, honey? Getting on the spotlight on, on the she shade. <laughs> okay. I'm getting the spotlight on my she shade, y'all. Because sometimes it's a little dark over there and... um. I need some light. Thank you. This is the completed job. So maybe I'll come out here at night so you can see it pop on. All right. So let me go over here to this greenhouse. It is in the heat of the day. Woo! Let's see what the temperature is in here. 123 degrees. Yes. Let me get the heck out of here. <laughs> but yeah, I came out here to get my gloves. Let me put the gloves on real quick. And my sleeves. This keeps the heat off my arms. And it also keeps like the bugs off me. And you can find these sleeves on Amazon that I know of okay like I said it keeps the heat off my arms and it keeps the bugs away <laughs> from biting so bad and then if you're allergic to like when the okra starts to come in the okra plants make me itch so these will be perfect for when I go and harvest okra that way I don't have to worry about being itchy all right all right so let me show you something Woo, y'all it was hot up in there all right you guys remember what i was telling you about these yellow jackets attacking my grapevine so what we did was we put this netting out here hoping that it will deter these yellow jackets all right um you you're gonna put a nail you gonna nail it down there, baby? So when the wind blow, yeah. it won't go underneath of it. Okay. Yeah. And Whatever so this is um some old netting that we had in the um in the storage in the she shed. So hoping that this will deter these yellow jackets because they really, really wipe our grapes out. They didn't start with this one right here. They but just for precaution, we um, went on and put a net over it. All right, so it may not be the prettiest thing, but let's pray that this work. I mean, this is the only thing that we can think of just to save our grapes. If you missed the video where um, I showed you where the yellow jackets was eating it up, the picture of it, here is a before and after picture of my grapes. All right, family, I said I was going to bring you back so we can witness the floodlight coming on when I go over to my she shed. And I didn't want to wait until it got pitch dark. So get on over here. Let's see if it jump on for me. That's a beautiful light right there. Let's see how close we're going to get before it jump on. Voila, there it is. All praises to the Most High. Yes. And let there be light. All right, family. It is the next morning. And I came out here to harvest my collard greens, you guys. They are gone. <laughs> but, yeah, I just wanted to come out here and do it 
early in the morning before the sun starts to beam over here. Check out what I got. I always like to inspect my plants early in the morning and I notice that um, something's been eating my cabbage leaves, okay? And so what I did was I came to inspect it. That's dirt right there. And I did see a slug, all right? So what I did was I went in the house and got my Monterey BT. Yes, get it a little closer. This control worms and caterpillars. And this stuff works, you guys. This stuff worked really, really good. So just follow the instructions on the container. And what I did was um, I just put it some in a water bottle. And now I'm just going to spray my cabbage. And then you also want to spray the underside. All right. Because they like to hide on the underside of the cabbage. And this will keep those cabbage worms and aphids off of your cabbage. So, look at this right here, you guys. Look at that cabbage. I'm beginning to get a ball in there. And let's see. I've already inspected it, but let's see. There's nothing there. So, as long as I keep this on, especially like after the rain, you have to reapply it after it rains, you guys. Because the rain will wash it off. But this stuff works. See, this is beautiful right here. Yeah. So I'll continue on spraying my cabbage leaves, um, my cauliflower leaves, and my broccoli leaves. And it's good for other things. All right, you guys. So Monterey BT. If you having problems with any pests on your cabbages and things like that all right you guys this is grammy y'all i just wanted to come with that little tidbit i love you guys oh if you like this video please hit like share and subscribe i love you guys and y'all know i do but guess what i love the most high more shalom